From the might of fiery goddesses, to women of valor, India is no stranger to Nari Shakti. The power of a woman. From fighting in Subhash Chandra Bose's army in India's War of Independence, to winning Galantry Awards in Independent India. When it comes to upholding the honor of the country, the women of India have walked shoulder to shoulder with its men. And it was here, in 1992, that the first batch of 25 women cadets was trained. The Officers Training Academy in Chennai. Today, the OTA is a premier military academy and the only one to train women cadets, turning them into proud officers of the Indian Army. It's a warm Chennai morning. A 26-year-old lady cadet is gearing up for an important day. I am battalion under officer Ipupu Mena, and I am from Arunachal Pradesh. As a kid, uh, I was always a very physically active kid. I could not sit still. I always used to play around with boys more than the girls. Run around, jump over here and there. So I had in my mind that I wanted to join Indian Army. But I never said it out loud because you are very introvert, you feel awkward saying your dreams to other people. She has completed six of her rigorous 11-month course at the OTA and now is a senior termer and an appointment, a position of prestige and responsibility. Today the new cadets are arriving in the academy. And as I'm a senior termer and an appointment, I'll be one of the seniors who will be addressing them. Yes, jungles are coming. Let's go. Let's go. A star cadet at the academy, Ipupu is also in the running for the coveted sword of honor, awarded to the best performing cadet. The OTA welcomes approximately 250 cadets twice a year. 23-year-old Shriti Dubey is one among them. Bright-eyed and eager to begin her journey towards becoming an officer in the Indian Army. The best feeling while coming to OTA is when our bus entered. There's a gate that has been written there, the Officers Training Academy. I was so excited. Jai ma'am, Lady Cadet Shriti Dubey from Bhopal. I have been asked to report to Jozilla Company. Welcome cadets to Officers Training Academy Chennai. First of all, Congratulations, you are the best who have been chosen to serve in the Indian Army. I am Battalion Under Officer Ipupu Mena. To my right is Senior Under Officer Suniti Chamoli. From now on, cadets, you are not from Karnataka, not from West Bengal, Northeast or North. You are from Indian Army. Where are you from? Indian Army. How's it, Josh? I cannot hear you. How's it, Josh? My mother and my father. They used to live in Uttar Pradesh, Kanpur. I've been staying with my Nana Nani since I was one and a half year in Bhopal. My mother and father always want to me do something which is different. But I want to improve my personality. Haircuts are mandatory for all cadets except Sikhs. Marking the start of training and a distinct shift away from their old civilian life. I lost my mother one years back. She was an NCC cadet, she wanted to join army. She's my ideal. I miss my mom and like now my father is there, so I can't like cry in front of him because I am his strength. One ceremonial, one other. Two Over the years, almost 30% of the officers who have been commissioned into the army have come from the OTA Chennai, which includes uh, about 25,000 odd gentlemen cadets. 
and almost 2,500 plus women officers. We have started this uh, inducting women into the army about 90, early 90s. Uh, earlier, there were little apprehensions whether they would be able to cope with the workload and the demands of service life. But uh, let me say with a lot of pride that they have risen to the occasion and whatever task has been given to them, they have performed it exceedingly well. Post the 1962 conflict with China, a need was felt to modernize and expand the Indian Army and for which a lot more number of officers were required. So emergency commission courses had to be conducted. So two officers training schools were established, one in Pune and the other one in Chennai, then Madras. So initially we had these temporary barracks where people used to stay, even the classrooms were temporary barracks. Over the years now, since we are more than 55 years old, the infrastructure has developed tremendously, uh, the best possible in the world today. Crack of dawn, first day for new cadets. Amidst the chaos, seniors help the juniors to get set for the morning drill. And if Poo keeps a hawk's eye on everyone. When the work is given, if it's done or it's not done, you'll come and report back to the senior. When you come from a civilian world, you are very individualistic. But when you're army, you're responsible for the people that are around you. So you have to make sure that if you're good, they should also be good. Company, stop down. I'm proud and privileged. I'm, I'm proud and privileged. And privileged. To be ordained as in. To be ordained as in. All the cadets are divided into two battalions and further into six houses or companies. Out of these, Zojila and Philora are the two lady cadet companies, proud and fiercely competitive. Excellence and purity. Excellence and purity. It's very tough to be in Zojila because uh, Zojila is known for very strong lady cadets. Very, very strong. Mentally, physically, you have to be good in everything. Don't be afraid of the ball, it will not kill you. When I say bend, I want egg them, sabka fast reaction, everybody egg sat. It should be tuck tuck. Bend. Get up everybody. This is not the reaction that I want. I'm telling get up and you're taking one day to get up. Shriti, are you hurt, injured? You want me to take ragda very hard. This is not even ragda, this is not even half of R. Start, one front roll. Now how to do it? You want me to give demo? Show her a demo. Yes. Why you're putting head? Because you're afraid that you might get hurt. Fall down on this portion. Look at her. Do it slowly. She's not, when she's bending, she's putting her head behind and then falling on her back. Okay. Yes, a little bit better. Get up. See? Making you learn this because any senior, any officer might any time. Before being a leader, I always expect me to be a good human being. So if I'm leading my course mates or any like other group, I make sure that I know my people around me. Ikukumena ma'am, she's like she's a demo type. She's good in everything. Head down. <laughs> Give a joke for me. Go. Mentally, I'm strong, but my physical is a little weak. So I'm trying here to make my physical strong and it will happen. The first day has been hard for Shridi, unaccustomed to this level of physical exertion. But she's clearly not one to give up easily. Once they join the academy, not everybody, but uh, many of them may have not done any physical activity in their life at all. So they get the first shock of their life that, okay, I have to do all these things. juniors that there's no women empowerment in army you are all already empowered that is why you are here the imposing Rizong law named after the mountain pass in Ladakh where the Indochina war of 1962 was fought is where the high command of OTA is seated this includes Major General Arun the DCCI or Deputy Commandant and Chief Instructor Sit down. Sit down.
Basically, you found no running shoes. So okay, take off your cap, sit down. Yeah. How are your physical standards? Infinitely more difficult for a woman, an Indian woman, to get into the officers training academy or the armed forces than it is for an average Indian male. So what is it that they bring? They bring a great fire. They bring a passion. They bring a want to not just prove to themselves that they are capable of doing what they set out to do, but also to the larger circle of friends and family, to the society, to the nation as a whole. Now this fire and passion translates to a commitment and a dedication during the training process. Now when you put these three together, what you have is an outstanding product. The OTMS, with the capacity to seat 500, is where junior and senior cadets sit together, but all within protocol. Any senior here? Senior. senior. How many juniors? Seniors, you need to teach the juniors as to how to have food. Please teach them as to how to open and close the plate. When I first came here and I had my first lunch, I was looking at the seniors. They were using this spoon and forks. I've like I've ate with the spoons, but I have never like ate it with the full mess etiquette. I didn't know. I was so confused. I even dropped one of the spoons inside. I was I was nervous because the seniors were telling me you have to do this and you have to do that. And then it fell. I had very little lunch that day because I was afraid, I was confused that I'll do some more mistakes. Raised in a lower Dibanga Valley in Arunachal Pradesh, Ipupu's dream of joining the Indian Army were not realized with ease. When I used to watch movies and all in the TVs, so Army, it used to make me really feel like I really need to join this. But I didn't have any idea how to do it. I think it wasn't the destiny because I got to meet people who were very interested in defense and I realized like where I was. This whole time I was in a cocoon. But after talking to those people, I realized that maybe I can do it. Maybe I could be a one who could lead, like be a part breaker. And after completing her graduation from civil engineering, Ipupu is now being trained to become a leader at the OTA. She is an appointment, a privilege given to only 84 out of the 500 cadets. Every morning, the appointments arrive at the office of the adjutant, or administrative head of the academy, to take orders that help them plan the daily routine of the cadets. The appointments are the important bridge between OTA management and the cadets. It feels really tough. At points I feel stressed out. At a point it feels like I'm not getting time for myself. But you stand a little bit above from others because you have it in you. So in order to prove yourself, in order to give your best, in order to get trained well, you have to burn more than others. Some of these appointments are also frontrunners for the prestigious sort of honor, the ultimate recognition of excellence. With the final decision barely five months away, their performance is under keen observation. 49 weeks of rigorous training will culminate in the passing out parade, when they will finally become officers in the Indian Army, and one deserving cadet will receive the sort of honor. In 2011, Lady Cadet Divya Ajit became the first ever woman to be given the coveted sword of honor, creating history at the OTA. Only three women have been awarded with the sword of honor, and Ipupu will have to bring out her best to be the next. very tough but the schedule is also very hectic and by the end of the six months you see the changes most of my cosmetics I've seen the changes how they came and how they are now and how confident they have they have become now by the end of the training I want to be a very good officer a very fine officer 
all this training and all push me to go out of my limits to do things that people haven't even imagined. I want to give my best. At the heart of all training are three very basic factors. You have to be able to shoot straight, have physical fitness, stamina, and along with these two qualities, be a good leader. Be able to take your men along with you. Within a few weeks into training, sleepless and exhausted, Shridi is holding the rifle for the first time today. So just to hold it in one hand is difficult because it doesn't happen before. Being a soldier, what we first imagine is a weapon. So when we first came here, we didn't know anything about the weapon. But now, being here in the academy, we had so many scorpions, so many lessons for weapon. But when we go for the real firing, it's where the thrill is. Detail, line push on. Detail, khali kar. When you put the magazine on the rifle and cock it, and then the, it makes that sound. And then for that very moment, you feel invincible because just one trigger and then you shoot. Single shot, fire. For now, in the range, we just shoot in the target. But when, when we're in the field, it will be the enemy terrorist or whoever it may be. A goalie, a bushman. Samne, figure 11 target. Single shot, fire. With the intense training at the academy, aches and pains, even injuries are not uncommon amongst the cadets. Ipu Pu is nursing an ankle injury. And with the crucial test in the morning, she is leaving nothing to chance. Tomorrow I have first attempt the PT test. So I want to perform my best. I have to relax so that I can perform tomorrow a five kilometer run. It is the morning of the battle physical efficiency test, or BPET, which consists of five kilometer run horizontal and vertical rope climb, 60 meter sprint, and ditch. The BPET will certainly push the cadets to their limit. It's a 5 km run, do not start sprinting. First 100 meters start pacing yourself, thereafter you can scoot. Alright, are you confident? Yes sir! On my count of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! and they're off. But Chennai's high humidity makes this run harder, even for the toughest of cadets. Ipu Pu finds herself struggling to keep up. And it seems the BPET has overpowered Ipu Pu. The five kilometer run may have brought a poo poo to her knees. My run wasn't what I expected exactly. I think it was lack of practice because I had an ankle injury, so I wasn't running too much of five kilometer run. And for this kind of run, you need uh, endurance, you have to build it up. Uh, which was lacking and also I, I think I wasn't well hydrated. I, I wasn't having any control over my body. I just continued and I could only finish it good. But nothing can keep her down. There is the horizontal and vertical rope. You know your capability. 60 meter sprint and ditch, still left to prove herself. Very good. A good soldier knows how to rise after a fall and Ipupu is all soldier. This test, as the name suggests, is a battle physical efficiency test. So it is soldiers' okay. assessment for their efficiency and their readiness for a battle. The BPET might be over. But the inter-company judo competition awaits. And after the setback this morning, Ipupu is back in the game. 
A win here will get her company the trophy and help her gain crucial points to stay on the top. At the start, we all were individual persons, but now we were Zulus, a part of Zodzilla. We bleed blue, that's what we say. For the junior cadets, it is closing in on two months at the OTA. Less than eight weeks into training, they will be running 20 kilometers, carrying a battle load of eight kilos. They have to run nearly the entire night. They can't afford to stop. And it is with full battle loads and weapon. So good. Next. Ah. Sir, Zorjila, can Okay, next. The heat and humidity of Chennai to carry a full pack and load and weapons and you know run in the heat is, is quite taxing. But it's more a test of mental endurance than physical because everybody gets tired. There are beautiful uh, images vividly stored in my mind of uh, two lady cadets in particular. They held each other's hand all through. Because they the willpower multiplies when you join it with somebody else. It doesn't add. That's exponential increase in willpower. Straight line there. You are excellent. Sir, not sure if you can remember. Before this, I never thought that I could run 20 kilometers. In fact, when I came here, I'm not even able to run for 2.4 kilometers continuous. So today, I completed my 20 kilometers in excellent with all the content, B scale B and then weapon uh, along. I'm feeling very proud on myself. In barely two months of training, the 23-year-old from Bhopal has lost not just kilos, but the fear of pushing herself physically. And she is well on her way to becoming an intrepid soldier. The mood amongst the junior cadets is buoyant. After a grueling two and a half months of training, a few lucky ones have earned the privilege to go home by performing well in the route march. Shridi is one of them. I'm very happy. I'll be leaving by evening seven. I have my train and excited to See my father, my brother, and I'm also gonna cook for them. So I'm very happy. After the haircut, they haven't seen me because we ha do not have smartphones. So it will be very different for them also. So everyone is so excited to go to home that they don't even bother that 24 or 30 hours of journey. Like for me, it's like almost 24 hours. I'll reach there, I'll stay just for one day and I'll come back on the next day. As the cadets return after a well-deserved break, they get straight into the grind. 30 kilometers from OTA, in the middle of wilderness, the junior cadets are on an outdoor camp for the five-day exercise Shatrajit. So there is no separate tactic called cover and move. It is only fire and move. It's day four and with exercises simulating an actual war-like scenario. Neha Pandey, wake up! Neha Pandey, you are not ready to go to attack. The cadets have barely had a few hours of sleep in the last three days. Yes, and models. General area. Kayur Reserve Forest. Shridi has been made platoon commander and she's learning that clear communication with the troops is key. If you are not able to make your troops understand as to what they have to do, then there will be chaos at night. 
and there will be blood bath the operation should be successful for that you need to affirm irada that by this this time your platoon is going to capture that bunker apart from digging trenches the cadets are being trained to use the right lingo jai shri man main art kumar bravo company platoon number 4 ke section number the tone manner and clarity in which shridi commands her platoon will make or break her performance moving into the city yes sir it is must no sir they have just read the activities at camp are simulating an actual war like situation and operating in the dark is part of the game in war situation or in our training we need to ensure that they get trained in the dark itself because you don't get light operations that take uh, take place in the night itself so the training has to be in the in the night I was the platoon commander. According to the drill, I have to give command, and then we have three sections. So each section has to attack. Smart drop. Yes. Ninety degree to the army bunker. Move. Basically, there is a mini flare which which uh, illuminates the area. So, वो पूरे चारों को गए and उनके पूरे trenches, उनके पूरे तीनों section. They are they are almost ready to fire. The first section था वो attack करने गया and I was about to give command to second section, but everyone just started. firing at each other fifty do the over section number 3 over inform section number 2 over so lady get shruti dubey aa gaye aa gaye yes sir where were you sir section one sir why were you lost in the battle the learning value of mistakes is much higher than the success uh, of an uh, exercise like this so we want them to make mistakes so that they learn from their mistake they remember it throughout their life that because of this mistake our exercise was not declared a success so they may not repeat the same mistakes when they are in actual scenario let me command to section number 2 humko yahan pe sikhate hain ki as we are an officer cadet अभी इसके बाद हम ऑफिसर बनेंगे हम सोल्जर्स uh, को कमांड करेंगे तो हमारा एक डिसीजन कैसे उनकी पूरी लाइफ डिसाइड करता है उनकी उनकी फैमिली की तो यहाँ पे आके हमें बेसिकली मैंने ये सीखा है कि चीज़ों को जो भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हमको मिलती है उसको बहुत सीरियसली uh, करना होता है द जूनियर्स आर बैक इन दी अकेडमी The cadets stumble out of the bus, drained and exhausted, but eager to share stories with the seniors. Ipupu is all ears. Oh, how was your juniors? Meena, you're tired. Abhi ye thak gaya hai. Very tired. It's okay. You're you're not dead na. As Shridi gets a well-deserved rest, Ipupu has another task to accomplish. Bayonet fighting is part of weapon training. It's a show of aggression and raw grit, not for the faint-hearted. This is one of the few exercises in which both gentlemen and lady cadets compete against one another. And like every other exercise, Ipupu does not hold back. Well, we have started this uh, inducting women into the army about 90 early 90s. and since then uh, as i said we have come a long way let me uh, say with a lot of pride that they have risen to the occasion and whatever task has been given to them and they have been performing exceedingly well everywhere go nikal disa badal go go move go आज का रिजल्ट इस प्रकार से है सबसे अच्छा प्रदर्शन करने के लिए लेडी कैडेट इपूपू मैना 86 मार्क लेके इस कंपटीशन के दौरान फर्स्ट पोजीशन है With barely 1 month to go for the passing out parade, the top 5 cadets in order of merit are called to Rizong Law for a final review. Ipupu is among them. But only one out of the meritorious 5 will carry the sword of honor. Denzel. 
जैन सो एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई मस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑल फाइव ऑफ यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द कमांडेंट ऑफ द अकेडमी दैट बिकॉज ऑफ असिस्टेंट हार्ड वर्क फॉर लास्ट वन ईयर ऑल फाइव ऑफ यू हैव बिन ग्रेडेड एज टॉप फाइव इन द ऑर्डर ऑफ मेरिट ऑफ योर कोर्स सो कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल फाइव ऑफ यू एंड एज यू अवेयर दैट एवरी टर्म वन कैडेट ऑफ द पासिंग आउट कोर्स गेट सोड ऑफ ऑनर एज द बेस्ट कैडेट ऑफ द पासिंग आउट कोर्स सो यूल बी अंडर गोइंग इंटरव्यू बाय द पैनल ऑफ ऑफिसर्स द सीक्वेंस ऑफ इंटरव्यू वुड बी फर्स्टली ए पुपू मीना सेकेंडली हरप्रीत थर्डली सुनीति चमोली फोर्थ वैभव महाजन एंड लास्ट वरुण प्रताप सिंह ऑल द बेस्ट मे गॉड बी विद यू थैंक यू जय हिंद For me, I've given my best in the whole 49 weeks of training. I'll give my 100 percent. Being in the top five merit is also a very big deal for me. Coming from a very remote place, no guidance, and learning so much about Indian Army, everything in the academy is also a very big deal for me. I won't mind even if I don't get it, and I'll be very happy for the one who'll be getting the sword of honor. Forty-nine weeks are almost over for the senior cadets, and soon they will be commissioned as army officers. The mood in the academy is charged. Preparations are on in full swing. Parents from different parts of the country have started arriving to witness the cadets take the final step. Ipupu's family has traveled more than 2,000 kilometers to be here. and they're all here her parents brother sisters and her naya or teacher who's very special to her uh, first time i pupu wants to join the indian army i was excited i'm very happy she will be giving service to the nation whatever she is that she is done on her own only of course we are there just a guiding force she is a special child special gifted child you know from the very beginning means so loving so caring means you can't express it really she is like that from the very beginning alas it is thak jayega aap log got to climb up isliye gaadi laane se dikhta padta but it's okay it's walking is good from up there we can see all those since i've been born like since i can remember since my memory goes to the like first memory also we've been calling her naya madam Even there were many tough times when I felt like giving up. Just call her. She is a great listener. She will just listen. She will motivate you. She is so pure of love. She doesn't need anything in return. We don't need anything in return. It's just, it's just this pure, <laughs> pure relationship between us. So no one will understand. It was not possible without them. Like my father never stopped me from dreaming. Uh, now also like. It's not a big deal being an officer, you know, but I'm happy that I'll be able to give them a good life. That they won't have you know trouble. Officers Training Academy Sports Medal. This medal is awarded to the lady cadet performing best in the sports events. For this term, this medal goes to Battalion Cadet Adjutant Ipupu Mena of South. It is the proudest moment of our lives. So she happens to be the second girl to become inducted as an officer in the Indian Army. And the whole state, and we are very happy. Tomorrow will be a great day for everyone of us.
Tomorrow is the last day in my academy. So, excited also. Don't know, got mixed feelings. So now it's been 11 months now. And it feels like yesterday, but so many things. Like in these 11 months, I've learned so many things. Last day they'll have doing drill in OTA. And after the, my passing out parade, I'll be passing out as an officer, as a lieutenant. So I'll put in my best efforts so that I give a very good, the best passing out parade. All final checks and balances are in place for the passing out parade. In a few hours, all the seniors will walk across the Antin Pog, as army officers while one deserving cadet, will receive the sort of honor. When you initially join the academy, it's a great unknown out there. But over the years, as, and as over the terms, as you get your training, you make good friends, that camaraderie which develops. And of course, uh, you're put through your paces, physical training, skill at arms, leadership and that uh, does get a lot of bonding. You become a different person altogether at the end of the training. And I think uh, that is the strength of our academies. And uh, of course, at the end of it all, we have the parade where we graduate and get commissioned. The pent-up excitement amongst the cadets is palpable behind the Parma's Warren Dwar. In a few moments, they will be marching out towards the Antim Pog. The last call having been sounded, the stage is now set for the contingents to march in. You have chosen the noble profession of arms. There is no greater profession, vocation or occupation that is as admired and respected throughout the history of mankind. And the big moment has arrived. The recipient of the Sword of Honor is about to be announced. The reviewing officer will now present the award to proud winners. Sword of Honor, awarded to the best all-round cadet, the passing of both. The winner is... Accident, 
Ipupu misses out by a small margin. But she takes it in her stride. Her dream of becoming an officer is just a step away from being fulfilled. Towards the end of the parade, as we pass out, we step over the Antim Pug, which marks the culmination of our training. And it is a great feeling, of course, that you have come so far in spite of all the rigors. Reaching that Antim Pug is uh, actually uh, a feat by itself. Not everyone is uh, even cut out for it. And it's done. 11 months, 49 weeks, aches and pains, blood, sweat and tears. From these sounds of pure joy, it's clear that it was all worth it for these lady cadets of yesterday, are now officers in the Indian Army. Inspiring women across the country, to aim higher and dream bigger. The final touch and the most heartfelt one, the pipping ceremony, when parents uncover the stars on these able shoulders. My parents, they are very, very happy. I haven't seen them this happy before ever in my life. And uh, this is the best thing that I could do for them. I'm very proud that my daughter has become an army officer. I dedicate her for the safety and honor of the country, India. Taking back lots of memories, lots of love and lots of friends, course mates for life. Lots of learning through the academy, things that I never knew that I could do also, that I thought was impossible. But the academy has taught me that no matter what, you keep on going, it's all in the head. This is an emotional moment for Shridi and Ipupu. They say their goodbyes to each other as one steps into the shoes of another. Today, finally, I've become a senior. I'm really happy about it, like this second term batch. It's like an honor to become a senior because now every junior, everyone is like just following you. You lead by an example. We've come a long way. The day is not too far off. We will have a woman officer who will be the commanding officer of a unit based purely on merit. There's no stopping these fiery women as they continue to break new barriers and make India proud. And, in another part of the country, a young officer with big dreams marches towards a new life. <laughs>